So you're thinking about moving to Alexandria, Virginia, but before you do, you want to know more about the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, the yin and the yang of living here. Well, in this video, we're going to cover all of the major talking points you need to know about living here, including the city's unique charms and potential drawbacks before you make that move here. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to make the best decision for you and your family. And let's jump right into it. Starting off on a positive note, at number one on the list of pros, we're gonna look at the old town of Alexandria. And if there's one thing that you need to check out in Alexandria or you know Northern Virginia for that matter, it is the old town of Alexandria. Here you can dive deep into the cultural and historical activities that the area has to offer. Old town is actually right next to the bank of the Potomac River. And this area is actually one of the primary cultural centers in the entire DC metro area. At Old Town, you'll not only have a ton of different historical sites to check out, but you'll also be able to enjoy the endless, you know, restaurants, antique shops, uh, boutiques, and theaters available, with some of them actually being right next to the Potomac River, which is one of my favorite places to go and visit. There are around a hundred retail stores in that one small area, so you're really not gonna run out of things to do, which is awesome. But the potential drawback is that it does get quite crowded and condensed due to it being a little bit smaller of an area and being such a hotspot for locals and tourists. So if you're in the area, whether you live in Alexandria or you're just coming by and visiting, Old Town is definitely a place to check out. Second pro on this list is the accessibility to the city. Now, if you're looking for an easy commute and a centrally located area with convenient access to places like DC, Arlington and Maryland, then Alexandria is a perfect spot to look into. It's directly connected to the Metro Rail service and I-495. And if you don't know what I-495 is, it's the main interstate that loops all around the DC Metro area. And it's just gonna make your life that much easier to get out of town and you know spend more time in the big cities, whether you're going for work or play. You're about nine to 10 miles away from uh, Arlington, depending on where you live in Alexandria, of course. And you're about eight miles away from downtown DC. And that is a little bit counterintuitive for some people to think that DC is actually closer than Arlington. It's not necessarily closer, but it's because of the winding roads that you have to take from uh, Alexandria to Arlington that just make that commute a little bit longer. Whereas from Alexandria to DC, it's just a straight shot inside. However, just because you're right next to the major cities doesn't necessarily mean traffic is not gonna be a pain in the neck for you. And that is the first con we'll look at. You know, traffic is an impossible con to avoid in most places in Northern Virginia, especially for commuters that are going into the major areas. So what many people try to do is try and live in as convenient a location as possible. And Alexandria is definitely one of those areas that's gonna put you the closest to DC and Maryland and Arlington without actually living in those places. And although Arlington and DC are, you know, 15 to 20 minutes away without traffic, expect to add another 10 to 20 minutes to your commute during rush hour and weekends. But you know, if you work at the National Harbor, for example, in Maryland, uh, you have one of the few bridges in Alexandria that will connect you to Maryland. And from Alexandria, it's actually gonna take you around 10 minutes to cross that bridge without traffic, but it is still I-495 and I-495 is a nightmare. So during rush hour, expect to add another 15 to 20 minutes on top of that. But you know, if there's uh, road work or there's an accident, expect to add another 15 minutes on top of that. So it can get quite harsh uh, depending on where you're going, depending on the time of day, depending what's going on on the day, if there's snow, if it's raining. So all in all, the traffic can get quite hectic, but that's just gonna be the case in every single metropolitan area. But next on this list, we have the job market and the low unemployment rate, which are huge value propositions that Alexandria offers. The city's economy is actually established by huge tech enterprises such as Invictus, and Coleman International, for example. There's government contractors, there's international organizations, and these things just provide a massive amount of employment opportunities for not only the residents in Alexandria, but the residents all around Northern Virginia. And all this just means that the city's economy is driven by different sectors all around, from uh, public sectors to private sectors to non-government sectors, whatever the case may be you know, the portfolio is diversified, which is great. This is a super positive trait, uh, especially during economic uh, uncertainty like we're experiencing right now, because if for whatever reason, one of the sectors were to go bust, I'm not saying they will, but if for whatever reason they did, you know, we're able to still function much more efficiently than many other areas in the country. Uh, take Silicon Valley, for example, which are heavily reliant on the tech jobs, but if tech were to go bust for whatever reason, Silicon Valley, 
goes down the drain. But here, because we have the government, we have tech, we have uh, contractors, subcontractors, small businesses, big businesses, Fortune 500 companies, it's completely diversified, which is great, especially when the unemployment rate in uh, Alexandria is 4.9% compared to the US's 6%. However, generally speaking, a strong job market typically means a higher cost of living, and this is kind of a con you can find anywhere in Northern Virginia. Obviously, there's some pockets that are a little bit better than others, but compared to the US's national average, pretty much everywhere in Northern Virginia is gonna be more expensive. You know, Alexandria actually has a 40% higher cost of living compared to the US national average with real estate being the biggest factor. On average, you're gonna be paying around 12% more on groceries, 1% more on healthcare, 100% more on housing, 3% less on utilities, 28% more on transport, and 43% more on miscellaneous, which which is just you know fun activities, going to the movies and stuff like that. The median home sold price in Alexandria is around $597,000 right now, compared to the US's $366,000. But like many suburbs in Northern Virginia, Alexandria is an expensive place to live. Uh, but it's also due to other factors like the strong job market, like I mentioned, but also because the median household income is higher than the US national average at $105,000 compared to the US's $69,000. So like I mentioned in previous videos although the cost of living is relatively high you know the standard of living and the quality of life is directly correlated to that the next con we have is flooding and there are certain pockets in northern virginia that are more susceptible to flooding than others and alexandria is one of those places the city actually has an external elevation so it kind of creates this bowl effect all throughout Alexandria. So, you know, during rainy seasons, it kind of becomes mother nature's swimming pool. And you know, the fact that it's right next to the Potomac River makes it particularly more vulnerable to flooding, but there are a certain preventative steps that you can take to help diminish the amount of damage that gets caused to your property and of course your wallet. Things like home inspections before you purchase a home can give you a good idea as to how your property would manage in case there was a flood. Now, the good thing about Alexandria is that many of the homes are a little bit older. You know, they've been around for 40, 50, 60 years and above. So they have withstood the test of time. They haven't fallen yet to, to the floods that have happened. So that is a good indicator. But regardless of that, always make sure to do a home inspection to make sure there's no cracks in the foundation, make sure the landscaping isn't tilted towards your property. And then it just causes these pools next to your foundation. And then the water just starts to seep through. It can get pretty nasty. You also have flood insurance, which can definitely put your mind at ease in case anything gets lost and ruined. But most importantly would probably be, you know, figuring out the best course of action and what the emergency protocols would be in case a flood ever happened in your area. And I've been here for close to 20 years. You know, we get flood warnings at least once a year. Nothing horrible usually ever happens. Some people do get uh, water in their home due to cracked foundations whatever the case may be, but you know, the floods are never anything too serious for the, the most part, at least in my 20 years of being here, I haven't really seen or heard of a really bad flood happening. So just know that the flood, that we are susceptible to flooding, but more often than not, we don't get anything too serious, but always make sure you take the right steps and precautions to at least be aware and be ready if anything were to happen. And guys, real quick, before I get to the last point on this video, I just wanted to mention, I am a realtor here in Northern Virginia, and the team and I, we help people like you looking to move in, out, or around Nova. So, you know, if you're looking to move, whether it's in a day, a year, or any time in between, really, feel free to give us a shout. All the info's down below in the description. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here. But on to the last pro is the diversity we have inside of Alexandria. This is gonna be one of the most diverse areas in all of Northern Virginia. It's fantastic. You know, if and when you decide to move to Alexandria, of course, you can expect to find people from all different types of cultures, backgrounds, nationalities. It's awesome. Uh, it really is just a giant cultural melting pot in this area. You get people from South America, uh, Asia, Africa, Europe. Uh, you know, I actually haven't met anybody from Australia yet, but I'm sure there are some people uh, that live here. So realistically, there is room for anyone and everyone, no matter where you're from, no matter your culture, your background. And that goes for all of Nova. Pretty much all of Northern Virginia is very diverse, but Alexandria is probably one of our more diverse areas uh, compared to every other suburb, you know, and I think it's great to be immersed in different cultures and experiencing different festivals and celebrations and learn from all different types of people. It just kind of opens up your eyes. Not to mention, of course, the diversity brings all different types of food from Italian to Thai to Mediterranean 
to Middle Eastern, Indian, Peruvian, the list goes on and on. You kind of get the point. So if you like to spice things up and just experience something different every now and then, then Alexandria is definitely gonna provide. But overall, if you're looking for an area with a rich history, gives you convenient access to everything that the DC metro area has to offer, and provides plenty of things to do alongside a high quality of life, then Alexandria is a great place to look into. But I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below. It definitely helps me out a ton. But you know, if you are thinking about moving to Alexandria or anywhere in Northern Virginia, or you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out. All the info is down below in the description. But until then, as always, we hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video.